Okay, so we did the civilian military variation on the IMA program. What is the director of information doing? How is he integrating state-based state -based programs into the local model? Because tax, work crew, time crew, bridge crew, quotes, all that stuff. I mean, they follow reciprocals of who's doing what and who can handle the good invention base under the test, 83. Um, and so that's a lot about your military civilian game on that. Who's got some tests, who's coming in, what positions are good for people, because all the jobs are inside of, of the function. So you got to work out some of the time programs. It's like some of these are, especially with COVID, in out probation, college, Again, in other systems, don't really follow too much of a difference. M1, M2, banging around the accretion disk on a pen row diagram, or any card that can kind of universally, if I can get you to the physics that's important here from this, they're M1, M2. And it's just the grid on that, it's just the timeline on that, and kind of designing what actually happens with that element, with those concrete walls that decide its decay state on that topography. Um, so, you know, you get some quarantine time straight off, that's tuberculosis, some physics, um, and how do, you, how do you start looking at the marshmallow experiment and what defines 40 miles an hour in the physics experiment in the mill as a student. Um, some days it's important to teach you, you know, it's not just physics, it's your, it's your 40 miles an hour of your social speaking skills to be able to describe this to the classroom that really understands as a physicist, what you'll be doing as somebody who is in the operation, you're really explaining a different type of physics. The real physics is quantum mechanically working and fixing a saw, timelines that don't come off inside of that, that adjust the frames that say that element is what it is. So you go about teaching that and training that to the workforce program in the prison because we want to, it's 30, you got to get 30 days on probation before you got you got to have something and drug and alcohol cases the study of you know how to refine I want good workers uh, I'm the money on the system to be able to pay the efficiency on those things as a state-based program that looks at all the jobs in the region that say you need certain skills because of work fraud programs and time fraud programs and what are the jobs and responsibilities that provide this person on this time with setting all that stuff up regionally to make sure that the unemployment game based on what we can take care of based on what the freedoms are and of course it will but as long as Cops don't put the knee on anybody's head unless the physics of the case says that's what's cool to do. The output should result. You don't need to ride in the streets necessarily. It's a hard way to describe what that is, but for what it is, do from what you understand the function does, the consequences of that. If not, then you take that up with the people where that's relative and shop owners and other things that might agree with your standards and have issues with that doesn't explain the same type of physics. You can't quantify that. There's a reason for the punishment in the mill because 83, 80 on the mill pressure on that air crane is going to drop that 18 too, which is money there, but also your leg, your safety, the safety of other people in this room because that drop could have shocked the whole system and then somebody else gets hurt with it. And it's cause and effect based on what those things can do on the real numbers. And so there's lots of ways to do that. I mean, early quarantine, you know, they've done this in drug and alcohol. I've done this in uh, Bellevue where doctors, they come in, you know, there's a group therapist in there and a couple of uh, uh, case studies. They sit in there like they like the patients are and the patients go around and they tell their story or they don't tell their story or, well, whatever, shock therapy, medication, variable on pumping that thing through because you got to be with them all the time. It's not every two weeks, it's every day and it is for a short period of time and it's a good way to stabilize that out but very expensive for what the result could be on the educational standards and what we can do with that instead of necessarily just looking at the individual cases, provide information in a studied way with a very focused application to turn local physics for what their element 
outputs, inputs, and explain how that's going to be relative out there while augmenting the thing, because that's any, that's any box, that's any philosophy, psychology, how this interprets. And when you're out there and something from that civilian line comes in, you know, you got the same rules as everybody else, and so you know how to handle that. Uh, safety manual, stitch them up, do whatever, get the person that does that real quick and handy on that many numbers and make sure that's always there because the fire extinguisher is right there and that's your that's your uh, other psych equation. I mean, manically to what system they're going to need to be able to call it. My therapist wants me, my boss wants me, you know, why there's not too much M1, M2 differential between what those things are. And so I want to do that inside of the program. TV time is good. There's, you know, you can you can absolutely smoke somebody and pressure and stress. And I want the best result. And and again with harassment and other things like that, it certainly applies stresses and EM factors that have to be looked at correctly. And again, I like the military line because it provides a result that gets things done at a higher result on an irrational number. And glass and cages and systems of timelines and adjusted the proper result that does something is going to be beneficial to the thing and also provide a training system where people can get in there and do that. There are other models of this again in